Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Hope you all had a safe and warm day today. Look what's going on here in Canada. We had a little bit around 11 or so. Then when I checked one hour after, the whole ground and everything was covered. And then when I checked back another hour after, this is what I see and we are expecting a lot more today so just want to share what's going on we're in the big freezer probably didn't come home yet and then when he come home he's gonna have some shoveling to do but because it's a cold winter night i'm gonna share a recipe that goes well with tonight's weather I'm gonna prepare some creamy oatmeal tonight because the weather is freezing. There's a lot of snow outside. I'm using organic quick oats. Since the winter weather, I didn't really take the girls outside and I like to go with them sometimes just to get a little bit of fresh air, the snow on our fingers, not to be outside long. I'm gonna soak this oats. I have here two cups of water room temperature water by the time i take the girls outside for a quick 20 minutes or so and then i'll come back and prepare a nice creamy warm oatmeal for them i'm gonna give a shout out to hannah and michaela and aunt Sarika. yeah because it's snowing and for all my friends who are not in north america I am doing this little video for you guys. So this is what it looks like. Natalie, hold this and me put my other gloves. I love the snow. Yep. Yeah. Natalie loves the snow, snow and so is Jessie. But Ooh. Jessica didn't want to come out tonight. Because she said she know I'm going to come back in too quick. And she didn't want to change and put on all this clothes and come back in right away. So let me show you I have on here. The snow is blowing in my face. I have on thermal gloves. I have on Matthew snow pants. I have my husband big boots and I have my own jacket and everything on. But look here, hubby came home and he had to shovel. Let me show you what hubby shoveled. So this whole big bank here hubby push away from our driveway and clean up the two cars and this bank here as well look at this it's actually not so cold when it's snowing not so cold when it's snowing but before the snow it was freezing so natalie how about we go for a walk okay let's go for a walk so we're gonna go for a little walk so this is the road here and this is coming into someone's driveway, but look how much snow, look at the tire track, how much snow we have. And that's the road, the road and the sidewalk and everything is just as the same, look just like the same. So we're going to go till at the end of the street. This is like a short street. And I'm going to show you how it looks. Look at this car, how, how much snow this car happening and look at this tire track here oh my God. this sometimes when i come out with my car and it's like a very heavy snow fall. you can get stuck in those deep snow snowfall but this is the powdery snow and that's what i like it's easy to yeah. push off and it's not it's easy to play with. and it's easy to play with you can't really slip with this one but the one that's dangerous is the so smooth hard. hard one that the rain fall on and when it's um windy so i'm gonna flip back the camera look at the road tracks here natalie and let's let's go back this way so natalie wants to go for a longer walk but the snow is actually going in my face yeah like in my eyes i love the sound of the but snow. yeah can you it's hear so crunchy. the sound of the snow let me put it on where our feet are so listen to the sound of the snow when she's walking. So That's how you know when it's powder snow. It's like when you're holding powder milk or milk powder in your hand. And it has that nice sound. Following you, Natalie, in your track. I'm coming to get 
the thing that's a little bit extra work in the winter when you come home late from work you have to go and clean snow shovel the driveway clean up the cars and sometimes by two hours time there's more so look here look at the road so I'm gonna go Natalie hold the phone I'm gonna go play with Natalie a little before we go back in don't put it on the driveway okay Okay. Um, I mean the sidewalk. I'm gonna go and play with Natalie a little Jody's before we go <laughs> back to make our creamy oatmeal porridge because I know she would lie down in the snow and roll herself and if she don't get to play she won't be happy that she put on all this clothes to come out here and just have to go back inside. Right Natalie? Yeah. So nobody likes to come out when it's like this, but I like, but I like to have a little bit of the fresh air <coughs> and I like to feel the snow in my hands and fingers. So we're back here now. So Natalie, go, don't put the snow where dad clean up, okay? Okay. No, where? Look there at the end there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, snow fight time. So guys, I'm gonna put the phone down and I'll play a little with Natalie because I don't have a third person to hold the phone for us unless we stick the phone in the... Wait. Let's see if we can stick the... Um, yeah, you can stick it in the... But I don't want my phone to get wet outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, Ooh. let's go. So we finally get it. Don't put it where that already came. <laughs> 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 throw so much snowballs at her. Wait, in second. I have a pile.
My phone is getting wet, guys, so I'm gonna turn it off. So guys, somebody had requested Natalie to make a snowman uh, just before Christmas for the next snowfall. And she remembered that. We didn't make a big one, but she made a nice little one here. Look at it. So I can't remember who it is, but Natalie made the snowman for the YouTube family or someone who had requested it. And for Hannah and Michaela and Auntie Sarika, look at that. She put some dried um, leaves for the eyes and a piece of dry stem for the nose. And look at the hands, some dry branches. Aww. So we're gonna leave it out here and we'll check it out back tomorrow. So mm. let's head inside and make this creamy oatmeal porridge. A last look at the outside before we go back in. We had such a nice time, right? Yeah, it's very Look at that. This It is very, very white outside, nice and white. So I have some water boiling here and I'm gonna go in with some clove and some cardamom to infuse in the water along with some cinnamon sticks. And we're gonna leave this to infuse. In the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing my oatmeal. So inside the oatmeal that we had soaking, we're gonna add some cinnamon powder. I already added half a teaspoon. I'm going in with another half. And we'll go in with some custard powder. And this is what's gonna make that a nice smooth kind of texture. And we're gonna give this a mix. The custard powder is gonna give a nice yellowish color in there. And my cinnamon is gonna add some extra flavor to the oatmeal. So we're gonna blend up our oatmeal because we're looking for a smooth, nice, creamy texture. I'm gonna add it to my blender. With that cinnamon, it's gonna have such a delicious flavor. And then I'll go in here now and Blend this goodness together. So now I'm going to add my blended oatmeal into that nice infused spice liquid. And we're going to mix it until the oatmeal starts to thicken up a little. Look at that color. That's from the cinnamon and all the clove and a little bit of the yellowness from the custard powder. I'm gonna start mixing and I'll show you as I am going along. So our oatmeal is looking nice and creamy. I'm gonna go in with some sweetened condensed milk and this is a quarter cup of measure. I'm just gonna store in this amount and taste it because I don't want it to be too sweet I'm turning off my stove and this is gonna add some nice milky richness to the oatmeal so here is that beautiful rich and creamy look at that oatmeal porridge on a cold and wintry snowy night this really, really warm up your soul. So let me show you here now. I just wanna show how I'm pouring it out. You'll see the richness of that. Look at that. Pure, delicious, richness, goodness going on here. So right at the top of it, I'm just gonna grate some fresh nutmeg here to enhance the flavor of this rich and creamy porridge. Look at that. And when you finish making this, make sure you give it about uh, three to five minutes before you dive in because porridge is very, very hot and you can easily burn yourself like that. So here it is. And I hope you all enjoy this recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. I made oatmeal porridge before, but with different spices. Today, I decided that the cardamom and the clove 
along with the custard powder will give it a little bit of a kick so i decide to change it up a little so this is one of matthew's favorites so matthew grab a glass and we're gonna cheers and let you know be careful matt it's so hot mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. the nutmeg on top it tastes so good oh my god i love the nutmeg mm -hmm. how about the porridge the itself? the porridge itself is really soft mm -hmm. it has a nice texture on the top and it has a mild sweetness to go with the nutmeg it's not too sweet right yeah and it's really really creamy like my mouthful is so satisfying and warm it's like a comfort on a snowy night is is that how you feel about it yeah okay so guys i'm gonna take one more mouthful it's super hot be careful matthew super super that's the mouthful for all my friends who live in north america and had a snowy day today please stay safe tomorrow drive safely on the road because it's gonna be a messy drive into work tomorrow i want to say if you like this recipe please give us a thumbs up if you never had it this way please give it a try until then we want to say stay blessed stay safe we love you guys bye for now